Hey bestie, it's Trina here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please make sure you hit that little red button down there that says subscribe and subscribe to my channel. We do a lot of different things here and you probably are going to get many personalities out of me, okay? Um, also, make sure if you like this video and you want to see more like this, to so give me a thumbs up and I'll keep doing these for you. As you can tell from the title down below, it is time for a monthly phase. Favorites. It's monthly favorites time. It's monthly favorites time. It's monthly favorites time. No, okay. All right. uh, just to start off, guys, I do not have a lot of products at all. I'm looking. Girl, I don't have a lot, okay? Um, and the only reason why I don't have a lot is because I've been kind of using the same products for the month of may so i have not really changed a lot next month though it is my birthday month june 24th to be exact hey cancers how y'all doing um so next month i will have different products because i will be trying new stuff i'll be trying new makeup products and stuff like that so i will have a lot of new products however today for the month of may I don't have a lot, so this won't be a long video, I promise. So let's just get right into it. Um, the first product that I have been loving, let's start with my candle, of course, from Bath and Body Works, and it is the London Tea and Lemon Candle. I love this candle, and as you can see, girl, I done burnt her all the way down, honey. I love this candle. I don't want to let it go. I love it. Um but this is the london tea and lemon candle and this candle some people don't like it i've seen mixed reviews on it i like it because it reminds me of my lemon tea that i drink at work i drink that tea every day at work y'all i love this candle it smells just like that i actually have this one burning in my um bathroom so i i actually burned it in my bathroom i know it's weird it really should be burned in the kitchen but i mean my kitchen isn't all that big so i don't feel like i need to burn a candle in the living room and in the kitchen i don't i don't need it in the kitchen so i've been i've been burning it in my bathroom and it smells so good it always makes me want to drink a a, a cup of tea so i've been burning this candle for the entire month of may and i'm out uh also my body wash that i have been loving for the month of may is my dove body wash and it is in deep moisture um i actually used to use dove a lot when i was in college dove was actually the only thing that i used in college and so I want to say maybe about two years or so ago, I stopped using Dove just so I can use other products and try other body washes out. So I stopped using Dove. But um, at the beginning of this month, I was like, you know what? I was in the grocery store and I was like, you know, let me pick my, my good girlfriend Dove up again. Um, Dove is the bomb. This is not a fruity smell at all or a... Um, floral scent it's not that this is just simply a nice clean fresh smell and i do like that sometimes i don't really um want to smell like fruit i don't like floral scents at all um and fruits sometimes too much of it can like make me nauseous sometimes so i was like well let me go back to dove um and so i decided to get the big one um and i love this it's just a nice fresh smell scent like you just clean girl it just smells like you clean girl another product that i picked up this month that i have absolutely been loving and it is is my um glass that i picked up from hobby lobby isn't this the cutest it says you make my heart smile and it has the little hearts it is so cute now i picked this cup up to actually drink tea out of but there is something at the bottom of this cup i didn't pay attention to it so i won't be able to drink out of this this is not I won't be able to drink out of this, but I'll put it on my vanity and it'll look cute. But um, I love this glass. I didn't want to take it back because I really, really like it. So I'll just keep it. Uh, let's see. So let's just go ahead and get right into our makeup items. That was it for like my miscellaneous stuff. So I will start with primer. And I think last time I talked about this primer. See, this is why it's it's hard for me to do monthly favorites because I use a lot of the same products, but I will I will be changing up. I have to. So my favorite holy grail 
primer is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Oh, girl, I love her. I just love her. That's all I can say about it. I love this primer. So, um, I've used this a lot. Like, you know, combination skin. Oily to combination skin. So, this keeps me matte all day. Every time I do my makeup, most of the time I do my makeup, it is with this. I have a couple of other primers that I'm trying to get used to using. But this one, this is my girl right here. I've been rocking her for the month of May. A foundation that I have been wearing literally all of May. It's a foundation that I actually hated when I first got it. I did not like it. And I've had this foundation for probably about two to three months. I hated it. Okay, like hated it. I was like, I don't understand how people like this on YouTube. All I see girls talking about this foundation, this foundation. I hated it. One day I decided, okay, Katrina, let's go ahead and give this a try. And I fell in love. I don't know what happened that day, but... I love it. <laughs> and it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Okay, girl. I know you like, girl, I love that foundation. Girl, what you talking about? Why can't you like it, girl? Why, why, why? Okay. I don't like this foundation because it's, it's a bit red for me. I didn't like how it looked so red when I put it on. Like, it, oh, it drove me crazy. The first time i put this on i never wore anywhere i was like no sir no ma'am you not for me home girl but i tried it i want to say the beginning of this month and y'all every day not today not today i don't have it on today i have my milani but every day besides today literally every day besides today i have been wearing this foundation it is amazing and when i say that it keeps you matte all day i had to learn how to work with this so if i would wear this so there's the days that i don't like to wear concealer i don't wear concealer every day for example today i don't have on concealer sometimes i don't want to wear it um but when i wear this i will put on a concealer to give me a little highlight up under my eyes and then the, my pressed powder will kind of bring the look i'm going for um, it'll bring me back to life. So this coverage on here is bomb. I have it in uh, number 112 Cocoa. Coco. Um, and it, it's it's a good foundation. Um, it It is long lasting and it says 24 hour foundation. And I totally believe it. I've never worn my foundation for up to 24 hours. But guys, this is bomb. And it has a great coverage. I will sleep on you, girl. I'm sorry, girl. You the bomb. You the bomb. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, next, uh, the next thing that I have been loving is my blush. And I think I said this in my last, um, what, uh, favorites, monthly favorites, is the MAC Blush in Blunt. Um, I'm wearing it today as a blush i know a lot of girls don't wear this as a blush i know you use it as a a contouring shade um but i actually like this as a blush because it has a red undertone to it um that i love and like i said i have it on today but this is in blunt i have actually been wearing this a lot um this is that blush that i wear when i'm when i don't want to do too much when i'm either gonna wear a bold lip or I'm going to wear a bold eye or something. I always, this is my go-to blush. And I've been loving it for the month of May. So, thumbs up to MAC for, for blunt. I'm sorry, girl, if you wear it as a contour. But I really do like it as a blush. Uh, one of the, I have not been wearing eyeshadows a lot. So, I'm going to talk eyeshadows. I haven't been wearing eyeshadows a lot this month. But when I have, the couple of times that I have worn eyeshadows, I have been loving the NYX um prismatic eyeshadow in liquid gold guys i have been loving this eyeshadow it is so pretty i just love this eyeshadow i've been wearing it um like i said i haven't worn much eyeshadow looks um for the month of may um but i really when i have picked up some eyeshadows it has been this one along with my coastal sense eyeshadows um that i have been loving as well and i'm gonna try to hide this from you the mirror so i'm lying you guys but this uh my coastal sense shadows also are another favorite of mine for the month of may that i've kind of been using so i've been using pretty much this shade here with the um liquid gold shadow from nyx and i've also been using this shade a lot as well so i have not been wearing like i said a lot of eyeshadow but when i do wear it 
um, those were the ones that I had been going towards. Now, another product, the next monthly favorite that I have for you guys is my CoverGirl, the Super Sizer, Super Sizer Fibers. Um, and I have this, I believe this is in Very Black. I have the shade Very Black. I have been loving this eye, this eye, um, this... Lord, I can't even talk. I've been loving this mascara. I don't have many eyelashes at all, so I always have to put on a um, false lash. But this is so perfect, guys. The wand is not too big at all, um, so it's not. It does not make me afraid to actually apply it because my lashes are so thin. I don't feel. Um, like this is out of my league to use so I've been really liking this I didn't get waterproof the waterproof formula just because I wanted to try the the blackest one that they had so I went for this one um, another monthly favorite y'all I've talked about this and talked about this product and talked about this. and I know you don't want to hear it anymore girl so I'm not even gonna say anything I'm just gonna hold her up you already knew. You knew this was my monthly favorite. You know, check out that highlight. And let me just let you guys know this highlight is with using all four shades from this good girl from here. You knew she was gonna be in here. Now y'all knew that. So check her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love this. Y'all already know I'm I'm done talking about it. Okay, I'm done talking about it. Like I told you, I didn't have many products. I only have two products left, and they are lippies. The first lippy that I have been loving is the one that I am wearing today, looking ready for the summer. And it is Max Candy Yum Yum. And as you know, this is an oldie but goodie. Everybody has this lippy. I was pretty much, um, I've had this lipstick. I think I bought this lipstick last year, actually, around the same, this time, last year. I never wore it. Um, so I actually just picked it up, uh, I want to say like three weeks ago. And I have been loving um, this lippy. Just wore it. I don't know why I waited so long. But this has been one of my favorites from the day that I picked it up. I've been wearing it nonstop. Candy Yum Yum Honey, I am ready for girl. And my next product, of course is the Milani Amore Matte Italic and Automatic Touch. It is that purplish color, not too deep, not too bright. Absolutely love these. If you have not tried these, I do have a video, uh, a review on this that I will leave the link to it down below for you so you can check that out. But I absolutely have been loving this every time I wear this color, guys. People always ask me what I am wearing on my lips, honey. So if you are, um, you know, if you want to see how this looked on me, I do have it on on that video. So I definitely will leave it down below so you can see what what it what it looks like. But that is it for me, girl. I yeah, that's it. I told you about everything. Like I said, I didn't have a lot of products simply because I have been using the same products um that I've been wearing. So guys, that is it for me. I will see you all in my next video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Trina Felicia. And I love you guys. Thank you, girl. Bye.